In this video, I'll be showing you how you can turn your smartphone into a landline. But before I get into how, I'd like to explain why. Because at first, this idea might seem a little counterintuitive. The phone is portable and mobile at its core. And here I'm telling you, you have to turn it into a stationary fixture. Why would you, why would you want to do that? Well, for me, it came out of a desire to curb my smartphone addiction. Uh, and when I talk about addiction, I'm less focused on the time spent on the phone and more on the intentionality behind the usage. What I found in my usage was that I typically tended to just use the phone uh, out of habit. You know, I was trying to curb my boredom or restlessness, and it was less out of a need to connect with someone, which is what the phone's really intended to do. Uh, so I looked up a lot of different, you know, techniques on curbing the addiction, and I started implementing them. I turned my phone to grayscale, I deleted all the social media apps, uh, and I turned off all my push notifications. After doing all this, I found that almost nothing changed. And the reason was it was just a compulsion. I'd always just check my phone, even if there were no notifications. So... You know, go to the car, check the phone. Get out of the elevator, check the phone. Go to the bathroom, check the phone. Check, 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 check. Uh, and so I'd always given up until I had a revelation. So I was watching Pirates of the Caribbean and I saw Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow, we know, is a notorious alcoholic. Uh, what One thing, though, that really caught my eye about Captain Jack is he carries a bottle of rum with him everywhere he goes. And so if we were trying to help Count Jack out, maybe he would say, hey man, just uh, don't carry that bottle of rum with you all the time. We wouldn't say, take that rum, and put it in a water bottle so that it's less distracting. No, we, we just say, don't carry the rum bottle around with you. And it's the same with our phone. So what I decided is I'm not gonna carry my phone around with me all the time. I'm just gonna put it in the kitchen and never check it until I go to the kitchen. Uh, and that was a great idea in practice, but when I tried to implement it, it was extremely difficult because over the years, I developed this habit pattern of just having the phone uh, unconsciously just follow me around. So even though I didn't want to, it would just kind of follow me into the bedroom, the bathroom, and everywhere else. So uh, to, to alleviate this problem, I actually physically changed my, chained my phone to the kitchen with a charger and I created this automation that would detect whenever my phone was unplugged. And if it was unplugged and I tried to open any app, it would actually just go back to the home screen and turn the brightness down to zero. And what this did is it basically told me, hey, oh, Lupine, you've, you've left the kitchen. You might want to go back. So it's kind of a subtle nudge. And believe it or not, it's actually been extremely helpful. My screen time has gone down by half. And I'm definitely way more present and better able to focus at work. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do that as well. So as you can see, I'm here in my kitchen. Uh, this is not usually where I work, uh, but this is where I come if I want to check my phone. Uh, but if you look around, uh, where's my phone? Well, that's the part of the thing I do here is I keep it on my field of vision. It actually sits here in this drawer, and my principle is out of sight, out of mind. If I don't see it, I'm not really thinking about it. Uh, but if I do want to use it, I'll pull it out of this drawer, and as you can see right away, there's this little leash here that chains my phone um, in a, within a certain range of motion. So that keeps me from walking off with it into the bedroom or the bathroom. Uh, another thing I do, if you notice when most people use their phone, they're kind of hunched over like this, and it's very captivating, right? So what I do is I actually just prop it up here uh, and it basically having it on this little octopus tripod thing, uh, I have to stand straight. Um, I have this separation with myself and the phone and it prevents me from getting lulled into this uh, device of captivation. Uh, but one more thing, if these physical things are not enough for you, I've also made some automations that I discussed earlier. Um, and so if I were to happenstance just walk away and unplug this phone, you'll see in a bit the brightness is just going to drop down to zero. Um, and what this does is it provides a subtle reminder that, you know, I've walked away and I should probably go back and put it in its spot in the phone station. So these are just some of the things that I have done to cure my smartphone addiction. 
Uh, but I'm really eager to know what other people have done too. So if you've got any cool tips you do, leave them down in the comments below. And if you want to stick around and know how I set up that automation, uh, that's coming up in a bit. All right, stay tuned. So the two apps we'll need to create these automations are DataJar and Apple Shortcuts, and both are available for free in the App Store. So let's start off with DataJar. Uh, here we're going to create a variable that essentially tracks whether or not the iPhone is plugged in. And so that's why I'm going to call that variable is plugged. And this is going to be a Boolean variable. This can be true or false. And by default, I'm going to start it off with the value false. So false being not plugged in, true being plugged in. Um, and so that's all we need to use DataJar for. Now we're going to go ahead and go to Apple Shortcuts where we can create some automations around that variable. So the first ones we're going to do uh, are automations that will change the value of that variable. And they're going to be triggered based on whenever the iPhone connects to power. So here, when I click New Automation, the trigger is going to be whenever my iPhone connects to power. When it is connected, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to update that variable to be true. So the way to do that, we're going to go to text and we're going to write the word. Uh, it's really funny with Apple shortcuts, but you actually have to type this out. So we're going to write the word true and then we're going to set the value. So I'm going to search set value, go to data jar, set the value of the variable is plugged to be that text. So it's going to get set to be true. And then very important thing here, uh, when it says ask before running, I'm going to disable that because we want this to happen on its own the moment we plug it in. Uh, otherwise, the iPhone will ask us and we have to approve that. Uh, and that's kind of uh, defeats the point of the automation, right? So I'm going to hit done. And I'll do the exact same thing. Uh, but this time, we're going to update the value to be false whenever the iPhone is disconnected. So notice here, I'm going to hit disconnected. And then again, text. We're going to go here, write the word false in there. And... Uh, we're going to go to uh, set value. So set value of that variable. That variable's name is, is plugged. And that's going to get set to be false. Uh, don't ask. Done. So now we've done those two automations. Our uh, charge state is getting updated according to whether the iPad is plugged in or not plugged in. So now it's time for the core automation. And the key logic here is whenever we try to open any app, uh, our iPhone is going to check whether uh, the iPhone is plugged in or not. And if it's not plugged in, it's just going to redirect us to the home screen. So the trigger is going to be whenever uh, an app is opened. So I'm going to hit all the apps, essentially, uh, except for maybe FaceTime, because I think you know this would be something that I'd want to do many maybe anywhere in uh, my house or apartment. Uh, but other than that, I think I wanted to restrict the locations where I use the rest of the apps. So I'm gonna hit done. Uh, and then next, uh, so here we need to check for a couple things. One, whether the iPhone's plugged in or not, and two, whether we're at our home address, because maybe you're at a friend's place and you know, you're not doing this whole uh, iPhone as a landline thing there. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get location. Uh, so here, we get our current location, and then we're going to check about that location. So we're going to use an if statement to check if we're located home or not. And here's our if. Um, and so we're going to check if the street address of our home is, is at our home, right? So it's going to say, I'm just going to assume my address is 123 address. Uh, I don't think that exists, but anyways. And then we want to check. So let's say we are at home. Now we want to check if we're plugged in uh, to the, that charger or not. So we're going to get the value of our variable. And that variable, its name is, is plugged, right? Now, important thing here, sometimes the iPhone will call our variable it might like miscategorize what type of variable it is. 
but we'll, we'll figure that out soon. So anyways, uh, then we're going to use our if thing again. And we're going to check to see if this variable, okay, here it is. So sometimes it will deem the type of the variable to be a file. We're going to change that to be a Boolean because that's what it is. So if value essentially means that the iPhone is plugged in. Uh, so in that case, we actually want to do absolutely nothing because uh, we just want to be able to use our iPhone for what we want to use it for. Uh, but the key is going to be in the otherwise. So if otherwise, which means that the iPhone is not plugged in, what we want to do is go to the home screen. So I'm going to hit go to home screen. And I'm going to put that underneath otherwise. And then the next thing we want to do is set the brightness uh, down to down to zero. So put this in there. We can put the brightness down to zero. And so basically what's going to happen is if the iPhone's not plugged in and we're located at home, anytime you try to open any app, it's just going to go back to the home screen, set the brightness down to zero. And you know, here's somewhere you, where you can actually get creative. So this is just you know my suggestion and something that worked for me. Uh, but if you wanted, you could you know have it even say some kind of voice recording that reminds you to be productive. Uh, so you can load up a voice memo here, or you can have it play some music. Uh, so or even a podcast or whatever whatever that makes you motivated. Uh, so that's just kind of some inspiration there, but. This is what I do, and it works pretty well for me. And that's essentially all you have to do to